the now famous Model B. The tractor and the price were revolutionary and met with instant acceptance all over the nation. Thousands of these tractors are now working in every part of the globe on every conceivable kind of job. So the Model B set the pattern for a general purpose small tractor on rubber. 11 years later, Alice Chalmers brought out another small tractor, the first really new one since the B. It was the new Model G, again a revolutionary tractor unlike any other, a tractor that is destined to set the pattern for things to come. The Model G is completely new, new in concept, new in design, and new in its applications to the thousand and one jobs on which it is being used. The G's rear engine gives better balance and better traction and complete vision of all plowing, planting, cultivating and tillage jobs. No twisting around to see the work being done. No heat or exhaust gases to face. All four wheels are adjustable to fit row spacing of practically every crop. A four-cylinder heavy-duty engine provides smooth, even power. Lights and starter are standard equipment. So are gas, oil, and air filters. The G has steering brakes for quick turning and a drawbar for pull-type implements and for general hauling. To round out the picture, there's a complete line of planting and cultivating equipment. Tillage tools include a heavy-duty 12-inch plow. All are easily and quickly attached or detached in less than five minutes. No jack or crowbars are necessary. To make this possible, there's a master tool carrier and a master hand lift with parallel linkage that keep the tools level. This is used with all mounted tools. A rear furrowing bar completes the three basic units. Now you'll see how easy it is to affix or remove a cultivator or planter. The tools are attached to a cross member called a front drawbar. And when in place, they make up the attachable unit. Now, watch one of these drawbar and tool units being detached. This is a complete cultivator. Watch carefully. A wedge pin holds the drawbar in place. Drive it out, lift off the tool, turn it endways, and drive away. To attach the tool, reverse the procedure. No box of bolts or wrenches needed. Just a hammer to drive the pin in or out. For planting corn, sorghums, soybeans, and similar wide-spaced row crops, there is a two-row drill planter that is quickly and easily attached. The fertilizer attachment can be used with the planter or at a later date with the corresponding cultivator as a side dresser. For the narrower spaced rows, there's a power-driven seeder that will plant two to six rows within an overall space of 60 inches. This unit can be spaced to plant on top of the beds or on level land, in twin rows or in singles. Then there's the ground-driven Planet Junior precision seeding unit that can be hitched to the front draw bar in one, two, or three sections. These units handle practically all vegetable seeds from mustard to lima beans. Each is complete with openers and coverers. Where planting is to be done on the beds, there's a one-row furrower that makes them up in a hurry. And there are cultivators to match various crops. The one-row corn and cotton cultivator is available for all normal wide row work. This one is equipped with pin brake shanks for maximum clearance in trashy conditions. And this one with spring trip shanks for regular work, with spear point shovels for mixed land, or with black land sweeps, whichever best suits the soil and the work. For potato growing, or for stony or grassy conditions, there is the same basic unit with two-ply spring teeth and standard three-by-nine double-pointed shovels. Adjustable shields are standard equipment with all of the single-row units. For the narrower rows and for cultivating on the beds, 
there's an independent gang cultivator designed for accurate, close cultivation of crops planted in multiple rows. Two, three, four, five, or six rows at a time. Individual parallel linkage allows each unit to follow the ground. And there's a wide variety of hoes, shovels, and steels to suit crop and ground conditions. This is the 60-inch double tool bar cultivator, a universal type for many crops. Row spacings can be quickly varied to suit the rows. This unit is particularly suited to such crops as sugar beets, snap beans, and so on. A wide variety of offset shanks, beet hoes, and disc hillers, which can also be used as shields, make this an almost universal tool. In addition, there is the 80-inch single tool bar cultivator. This unit can also be used with the single furrower for throwing up beds or for cultivating the furrows between the beds. Any desired combination of hoes, shovels, and steels can be attached to this wide tool bar and adjusted for any row spacing. There are bed shavers and shields too. In fact, there's a combination to fit just about any kind of crop you can grow and any kind of soil in which you grow it. For belt work, a belt pulley attachment is available. This same attachment with a V pulley is used as a power takeoff to drive any of the various power takeoff operated machinery. The mower is also a quick hitch unit and makes a five foot cut. It's ideal for mowing in open fields, irregular plots, orchards, large lawns, estates, and so on. The quick, easy maneuverability of the G makes it a natural for work of this kind. And the same handy drive can be used to power dusters, sprayers, light harvesters, and for hundreds of similar applications. The G is a complete tractor and will do just about anything. Nurserymen all over the nation are finding new uses for this versatile machine. For them, it's an entirely new kind of power. They can get in among seedlings, keep them clean and healthy as never before. Fruit growers, orchardists, nut raisers and vineyard owners all find that the G is the economical unit for their small acreage work. The larger farmer or rancher finds it to be the ideal unit for the second or third size job, such as planting, mowing, light hauling or cultivating. For the truck gardener, the G is unnatural. The planters and cultivators are the kind he knows and wants. They can be exactly fitted to his job. The hilly land farmer finds that its wide front axle is stable on his contours and terraces and that the cultivator mounted between the wheels does not tend to swing on the curves. The farmer and the suburban dweller whose house is back from the road find that the G with a bulldozer or snowplow will keep the road to the pavement open throughout the year. Berry growers can work closer to their rows than ever before and can take time to do a better job. The irrigation farmer for the first time has a machine that will plant and cultivate on his beds and will maintain them in proper shape for the water that is essential to crops. Never before has this kind of work been possible with power equipment. The low or creeper gear was built into the Model G with this in mind. Close fine work and full vision over all working parts, not only make it possible, but easy to leave the fields clean and smooth, nicely pulverized for the bigger crop to come. Up front, that's the story of the new Model G. Up front with its vision. Up front with new and better tools. Up front with a new and broader concept of what a small, efficient tractor can do.